Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Niche. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Yesterday we had a red day and people panicked. People panicked because of the CFO stepping down. And when the market is fearful, when the sheep runs to the hill, what do the lions do? We feed. And indeed, Money Making Mitch fed and satisfied my hunger yesterday. So much so that I'm now up to 11,771 shares. You heard that right. Palantir went up yesterday for me on my traditional IRA account. I sold, I took the profits, I bought NEO. And then I bought some more SoFi because I truly believe on my traditional IRA account, I have SoFi on another account as well that I don't touch. I just keep adding to that. But on my traditional IRA account, I bought more. I'm now, uh, I believe it's 1,200 shares, something like that. And why did I do that? Because SoFi is going to report quarterly earnings in the end of this month. And I truly believe it's going to be good earnings again, like the last one. And when it makes its nice spike on that account, I'm going to sell it, take, perhaps I'll walk away with about $2,000 again in profit and buy more NEO yet again. So with my 11,771 shares, some of you might say, well, Mitch, aren't you satisfied? Isn't that enough? What is enough? With NEO, it is never enough. Mm hmm I am hungry. So, what happened yet again? For a Saturday morning, I want to thank Money Making Neo San Francisco for this information. It is dynamite. It is yummy for the tummy. And this is why I keep buying every opportunity I get. But before we get to that, let me just say this. The Bentley designer the, is, is the same guy who designed Envo. Custer demand is robust according to the Tatavosian Pupavosian. Remember I told you all his tongue will have to twist in his mouth. I said it on this channel, the channel for Neo Lions and it is twisting and it will continue to twist. He was saying that it's not a buy, I should be cautious and now his tongue is wrapping around. I, poor guy, I hope he don't strangle himself. He said, he is, and now he's acknowledging, only now he's acknowledging and somehow knows Envo is coming, the lion killer Ladao, to eat the Model Y's lunch. He says, it is low popular, the SUV is in China. He says it is a low cost SUV and it will be popular in China. He's admitting that SUVs are popular in China now <laughs> and that it will be a huge competitor. He says it puts it in the position to capitalize and steal competition, steal ma huge market share. But Money Making Mitch was saying this and I didn't go to school for this. All of a sudden he only now knows this. Great news and newer models, he said, and a step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. We have been making the step in the right direction from the day the company came into the stock market, but this boy pretend he did not know. Now, what else happened that is so dynamite for me to do a video on a Saturday morning for you all, my neo lions and lionesses? Again, I wanna thank Money Making Neo San Francisco. This was posted on the NEO's website. You guys can go look it up. He says, remaining faithful to its 100% electric DNA, NEO will try to grow in European car market in the near future. Now listen to this, listen to this. With two new brands, you heard that right? <laughs> and a more massive presence within the commercial network through direct sales, but also with the help of dealers and importers. So when they say a massive presence within the commercial network, I think he's talking, they're talking about the dealers and importers. 
um, instead of using new houses. But I don't know when they because this is a, <laughs> this is um, they say they are growing into the European market. And they are going to be in the commercial aspect, the commercial network with a massive presence in the commercial network with two new brands. So I don't know if they're talking about Firefly and Onvo, but it continues to say they continue to focus on the research, development and scale of electric cars, trying to expand its vision of zero emission mobility as much as possible, even outside its country and continent of origin. These are plans. These are the plans of Neo, a brand born in China for 10 years now and which since 2018 has started marketing premium and exclusively full electric cars. A philosophy that the Dragon brand is also trying to purpose in the European market. Yes, we are a Dragon brand. Mm -hmm. In which it made its appearance in 2021 in Europe. We are present in Germany, Holland, Denmark, Sweden and Norway. The latter was the first country of the old continent that we entered, which is Norway. We entered Norway first. Obviously, we will be preparing to expand our operations in the rest of Europe in the coming years as well. <laughs> this is from Nicola Marsala. He says, listen very carefully. It gets better. It gets, oh yes, it gets better. Neo will look to expand further in Italy, France and Spain. Thanks to a series of innovations. I don't even know what he's talking about when he said that. Thanks to a series of innovations. <laughs> they are looking to expand this year into Italy, France and Spain. We will open up to a series of important markets in which unfortunately we are not yet present. So he's talking about in the coming months, we are going to Italy, France and Spain thanks to a series of innovations. What is he talking about? Is he talking about Onvo and Firefly, a series of innovations? Is he talking about, that, is that what they're talking about? These two new, uh, two new brands they're gonna be entering Europe? That's what I believe, Onvo and Firefly in the coming months, when they said they were only gonna enter um, China with Onvo this year and they were holding off on Firefly until next year, but now they're saying two new brands for Europe in the coming months, and it's gonna be in Italy, France, and Spain. This is tremendous. Now you all know why Money Making Niche keeps buying the dips every chance I get, even if I have to sell the liver. Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. But guys, I hope you all are excited and understand why come Monday, Money making Mitchell looking be looking to scrape up the pennies from the my son's piggy bank. Oh, I better say that quietly. No, it's okay, son. I'm just kidding. So, I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational, and motivational on a Saturday. If so, guys, do not, do not forget to hit that thumbs up before you leave. It takes a lot of time to do these videos and the editing. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because we are waking up the middle class for the first time to get a piece of the pie, a big piece of the pie. And like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.